What is up, ladies and gentlemen? It is Ab here, and we are back with another episode of Agrarian Skies Flat World Edition Let's Play. Now, last episode we did actually we did quite a lot of work. We got a basic base sort of setup, and I believe I showed you the frying pan and the slab furnace. No, I don't know whether I did show the slab furnace, but basically what it is, is it uses six pieces of cobblestone instead of eight, because you get, a, you need eight slabs, and you use eight slabs in a furnace shape, and you get the furnace. Um, I also made a large, more, a large amount of barrels, um, seven of which are full of water. Um, that's very helpful, and that is probably what we're going to end up looking at today. So let's grab the questing book out and have a look. Right. So I have this quest here called Melting Stone, and basically what we need is to create these two unfired things, and you get these unfired things by using clay. Now, how does one get clay? One gets clay by, uh, they, well, basically what you have to do is um, right click a piece of dust in a barrel full of water and you instantly get a piece of clay, like a block of clay. Now, I'm going to make these into cobblestone and show you the process of making dust. Now, you need to break all, f oh well, you can break, I'm going to do all five, of, uh, yeah, I'll do um, two, because that's probably enough for the two things I need, maybe I'll do three, I'll do three, uh, yeah, I'll do four, because uh, I do not remember quite how many I require, and Ooh, I got five sand. Uh, so let's just do three. Because I believe I already have one as well. Um, in here? Oh, maybe not. Anyway, um, so now we can come over here with our dust. And we can right click in there. And in there is clay. Now we can right click and get the block of clay. Now what we do with the clay is um, break it and we get the little clay balls, which is uh, fantastic. Now we can make an unfired bucket. Now we'll also need, uh, we're going to need some, I believe I have some bone mill still. We're going to need. Uh, we're going to need the. Um, uh, I believe it is called. Let me just search for unfired here. Uh, we need uh, the porcelain clay, which requires clay and a piece of bone meal. Now, I only have two bits of bone meal. So, what are we going to do? Well, we're going to open up our questing guide and we're going to go and we're going to do the Mary Had a Butcher Shop um, so basically we need to create a 6x6 six six out of dirt 24 to 30 blocks away from your base and plant grass we need to and then we need to create a uh, yeah we need to create basically a passive a passive mob spawner and a evil mob spawner now um, what we're going to do for the first bit of that quest is to build out we're going to build out a platform with the wood we have 30 blocks away in this direction it's my so I'm going to do a shortcut here and come back when I've finished
So I'm back and um, I finished the platform. I fenced off this area so we don't get knocked off by any stray mobs. And what I'm going to do now is attempt to make a a rapier, I believe, possibly a rapier. Um, or we can make a broadsword because that requires. Hmm. All right, I'm going to need to make some patterns anyway, so. Let's grab a bit of wood and some sticks and some pattern. Now we go to the pattern and we're going to want to get sword blade, wide guard and handle pattern. Sword blade, wide guard and we've already got the whole world pattern. Um, I'm going to make that out of flint. Um, hold on. We might have to make that out of stone. Saying that. Which we may already have a piece of. Yeah, we got four. That's good. So we can now make our sword blade damn can't make it out of cobblestone got a rubber tree seed well we'll leave the um the uh, two sword we'll leave the sword for now and we will repair, repair our our hatchet which is now accustomed and as you can see out on the platform over there we have some mobs now if we come over until they track us we can should be able to uh, hit them and he dropped a skelly head now that dropped us right actually that is a very good axe I need to repair it as soon as we have the iron to make an anvil but um going to put a no. what we really want is um I suppose it'll do uh what we really are looking to get is a lot of rotten flesh uh for food and for the quest because as you can see over here I have set up these drying racks now what they do is once you get a certain amount of once a certain amount dries um, you get back uh, monster jerky and I don't believe it poisons you I don't think it gives you uh, hunger or damn we took some damage it's not damage I'm worried about Good to come back from killing them, because hey, we got two bones, which uh, I am going to keep for now. And we'll put the head there. So we have a moss owner, uh, which is the what we had to do for the quest. And um, ooh, flight potion. Um. So there's a zombie, and he can open the pressure plate, unfortunately. But I can two hit the zombies with the hatchet. Unfortunately, they can get up here because of the fence. I might move all this back a block. And I can also two hit creepers, which is very good. So I'm not really worrying about a sword for now. I think this will be fine. I've not really got the wood to do that right now. Um, yeah. Why is there a creeper over there? That's slightly horrifying. Must be, uh, shoes F7. That was kinda cheaty, but... Okay, we'll grab, uh, say, four bits out, and we'll grab some sticks. No, 
always forget how to do torches. It's like newbie thing ever, but oh, no, you want to take it off? I feel like something's gonna sneak up on me. Um, yeah, that was good. Now I'll put a torch down here. Now we can come out of F7 mode and uh, go and kill some more mobs. You don't scare me. Because obviously we can get string from this. Yeah, they can't go under, that's the, that's the good thing. Uh, there we go. So, I will come back once I have killed a few more mobs and grown trees and stuff with the bones that I get. So guys, I'm back and it's been about an hour since I last recorded and I've been grinding out, getting saplings. So we now have enough dirt to do our 6x6 platform. 42 to be precise. I'm really happy with that, that's great. Now, in the process I managed to complete the uh, quest that we were working on. And I had a reward bag left over from a quest back too, um, that I hadn't opened. So let's sort my inventory. Uh, ooh, they just stacked. Alright, so open one. In there there was a golden Nixon. Okay, not entirely sure what golden Nixon is. And in there, there was a very nice pickaxe. Yeah, nice paper pickaxe. Okay, I'm happy with that. I just thought about this. It's, it's a crook, isn't it? Oh, but it breaks very easily. Right, so there's a, a bone crook. Ooh. Why am I in cheat mode? I wasn't in cheat mode. Bone crook. Uh, four bones. Oh, what? Where is the golden one? Okay, that's really confusing. Um, do I have four bones? No, I'll just have to make do with normal crooks for now. Anyway, I'll, I'll do this tree off camera. Anyway, um, we have a quest to do, um, so we've done that one. Uh, oh, right, we've done that, I was so confused for a second there. Ooh. Um, completed. Uh, let's do melting stone then, since, uh, do I have the bone meal? I've put it away, I believe. Um, and the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven clay we need. Clay. <laughs> now we can make a crucible. Is it crucible? It's a crucible, I think. I already fired my bucket in the sub furnace. Crucible. Now, what we're going to do with the crucible is, I believe we need to place it on. Okay, we'll break the wood rack for now. We'll place it on a block. In fact, I'm going to place it on a 2x2. Two two. Place it in the corner. But what we need to do is place it on top of a torch, like that. Now we put cobblestone in there and it turns it into lava, and then we can start a cobble gen. I believe we need eight cobblestone. We have one, and I have 42 dirt. I need 36 for the platform, so I can keep 36. Um, now I will go ahead and do this very annoying process of creating oh good we got the grass seeds we need <laughs> it's convenient uh, 
I don't know whether we will have enough. We're gonna have. We're gonna be. Um. Yeah. We're good. Oh, it only takes four. Five. That should create one full bucket of lava. Now, the one thing is that it destroys the bucket when you create, when you place lava down. So we're going to have to be sure of where we want to place our, our thing. Now, over here, uh, directly opposite, I'm going to... Actually, I think it's time to wrap up the episode for today, guys. But off camera, I will build a 6x6 platform of dirt at the end there uh, to spawn passive mobs. And we got grass seeds. Um, grass seeds, do we have any more? No, that's all the grass seeds. Oh, no, actually, we did. We had three grass seeds, that's good. Um, and I'm going to possibly make a bone sword no it's a bone rod you can make um, we'll, we'll, we'll do a lot of work off camera probably I will anyway <laughs> so I can actually claim another ore bag uh, let's go with the third one okay so let's hope we don't get a load of items or they'll spill all over the floor. Well, cherry jelly and blackberry juice. We can use these, I assume, to make vinegar <laughs> or a meal with an egg, toast, potato cakes. Wow. Whereas they're, they're both um, snacks food basically and uh, they can go in there for now. I also got potato when I was killing zombies and that, that's good. And you get a flight 4 potion for completing one of the earlier quests. Oh yeah and I built this uh, platform so you can shoot zombies and stuff. <laughs> oh, oh my god that tree's massive. When did that happen I <laughs> do not remember that. Anyway, um I'm going to build off in that direction and I'll see you guys next time.